Hello guys, welcome back to the Football Manager 2018 European Journeyman here at HNK Subanek with little baby Iris. Oh, look at her. Still doesn't say much, but her views are still controversial. Um, so we've been given the job here, um, or we've been offered the job, a three-year contract at Ajax. Three years is about what I want for this job, and so that's fine. I'm going to ask for a little bit more cash. I'm also... Do we ask for anything else? It's no real point, is there? We'll ask for a little bit more cash. Uh, we won't lock it in, though. Um, so, agreed philosophies. Develop players using the youth club system. That's fine by me. Make the most of set pieces. I'll, I'll work that one out when it comes to it. So, we are going to refrain, <laughs> refrain from applying for jobs at other clubs. Um, and we're going to keep director of football, Mark Overmars. So... That's fine. Mark Overmars looks decent as I can't pick him as a director of football. So we are going to. I mean, we're supposed to be taking on Solon today, but I'm I'm taking this job. Um. So yeah, I don't know if we have to take on the Solon game. We don't. Okay. So it's a shame because I would like to have played that Solon game, but we are at Ajax now. So there is that. We are at a much larger club. Um, Stekelenburg, Martin Stekelenburg, who's now Dordrecht manager, uh, has said that we are a fantastic choice. Lovely. Um, I'm assuming, as we go into this, that, yeah, so, <laughs> Sibonek paid for our continent B license, and we're still studying it on their money. <laughs> um... We're going to have a look at that in a second. IX transfer updates. We've got a few players out on loan. Uh, one guy in, uh, Kik Pieri. Uh, he looks good. He looks good. Could be decent coming in. Uh, injury update. Santi Cazorla. Okay. 35 years old. He's going to get shifted on. He's going to get shifted on. Uh, Simon De Vries. Okay. Looks look, looks like a decent pros prospect. Alex Galvez. Again, 31, but he looks like a decent prospect. Hey, look. Hey, look. Look. We had to leave Croatia, okay? We had to. It was our time. All right. I know that's what you want. I know that's what you want. Just having a look at one more player, okay? Oh, nice little burp. So, yeah. So, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to be happy for a minute, please. Well, Daddy just does this little bit. And Leo Battistao. Um, 81 grand a week. Yeah, he's going. Uh, he's not good enough. 81 grand a week. Fuck me. Even the other guy who was on 54 is not good enough. What is Santi Cazorla on? That's my question here. 70? 70? No, don't think so. You're going. Social feed. I'll accept those wherever they are. Uh, choose captain. Nick Viergeva. 31 years old. Wing back. What's, what are your best positions? So... Wing back, full back. She's chewing on my thumb now. Um, I mean, yeah. You look like you could be good. Jao Pedro. Let's have a look at Jao Pedro. Uh, 27. You can play Regista. Can you play Mazzari? You can. Good. You're not going to develop much. Leadership is 13. Uh, who else do we have? Joris van Overeem. Voot Veghorst. Joris van Overheem. Um, I mean, I don't, f <laughs> I don't think their players are that good. So yeah, I don't think their players are that good. We're gonna bring in, <laughs> we're gonna bring in Michelle Sago. Sorry, but we're going to have to. Right, leadership thirteen, determination fifteen. What are the things they ask? Leadership teamwork. Okay. So I want to have a look at our team report real quick and have a look at the squad depth. Overeem is one of our best midfielders, along with Jao Pedro. Oh, you know what? <laughs> hey! Hey, I know he's not that good, but he's what we, he's the best we've got, okay? He's the best we've got. We've got to make the best of a bad thing, okay? I say a bad thing, I'm glad I'm at Ajax. Um, so, I think Overeem and Jao Pedro will probably be the two that we pick. Um, maybe take Jao Pedro and then... Eurus fan over him. 
Uh, we're going to tell him. I wanted to let you know. Oh, fuck it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I, I, I'm going to leave it as it is. And then we're going to shift them off at the end of the season. Uh, I'd like to formally welcome you to Ajax. You know, I, I, I don't know. I know that Germans will come in. Um, but I don't know. Uh, attend the meeting. Yeah, lovely. Uh, Ajax. Uh, so I, I'd love to learn more about the club. Uh, would you like to set up a press conference? Yeah, sure, sure. Thanks for the introduction, mate. Yeah, lovely. I am Marcel van Buren, your assistant manager. Ooh, we can do better. We can do better. We'll get better. Um, hello. You just dropped the dummy. Well, that's going to be the end of this bit. Anyway, <laughs> we are going to cut back in a little while. Hello, guys. Right, so. No signings. I'm, I'm looking at sorting out the staff. Because uh, the staff here is dog shit. Actually, I, I thought it was a lot better than it was. It's not. So, I'm trying to get some physios in. I'm trying to get some uh, scouts in. I've got a new assistant manager on the way, and I've got some uh, coaches on the way. I've hired a few. Well, I say I've hired a few. I've offered a few, and we'll just work it out as it goes. Because what we've got is shit. Um, head of youth development is okay, Nuno Gomez. I mean, 18, 15, 17. I could probably improve that. He's got fantastic knowledge of Portugal and Holland, so hotbed of youth. Um, I've looked... Briefly, I mean, I can't remember if I've done this. It was three days ago that I recorded the whole the accepted contract and so on and so forth. This is actually the first game of the season. Um, I have put in an offer for, and I don't know if you saw this or not. <coughs> okay, what is it? Is it offers? It must be right. So yeah, it's, it was the first page. I've made a £10 million offer for Tammy Abraham. He's on the transfer list. He's on the transfer list. He's 23. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're scouting him anyway, but we've got a bit of time to maybe make this and cancel it if we don't want to. But he may be a decent prospect, especially for his price. I also put in the offer for Michel Sago. We've declared our interest in him. Hopefully he'll be on the way in. We could put, pick up some extra money here if we wanted to. Casper uh, Dolberg, for example. I don't know how we go about doing this. Sell the clause. So we could sell, I mean, 7.75. I mean, yeah, I'm going to do that now and take that. We're not going to be here at that time. 20% uh, of his next transfer fee will be owed. You know, we're going to do it. We're going to do this. I didn't even realize this was a thing. Um, 2.0. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Because there's a good chance that we're not going to be here at that point in time. So we may as well try to take this money. Oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. This is good. This is good to know. Six hundred and eighty k. Yeah, this is forty-seven. Yeah, two right. Who else? Pashers. Forty percent. Four point five. It's sold a lot of players to Club Bruges. It seems. Um. One point four. One point zero nine. Kai House. He went as well. Fuck. Donny Van Beek. One point seven eight million pounds. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm quite happy to take this money in. This is all money that I can use in the transfer window um, to improve the squad because it it needs some improving. It really does. 71k. Yeah, screw it. Don't mind. Um, it really does need some work. 3.8 million. Yeah, cool. That's fine. And there we go. So, we've got a ton of money coming in, which means that if we go to... Hey, <laughs> 42 million pound transfer budget. Why, thank you very much. Um, I can do a lot with 42 million pounds. A hell of a lot. We've got a month and a, well, we've got two months basically to have a look. <coughs> so, haven't had any time to get any tactical training done. We haven't got the staff to really do things. So I am going to use the hole in the club for now. I want to develop a new tactic for this team. We've used the hold on the club a lot in the previous year with Ilf Sivanek. Used it a hell of a lot of Ezepovici. And I want to develop something new for this squad, but I want to build a squad if I can. So although our target is to hit uh, Europe, the Europa League, which means I think we need to finish sort of like tops. Right, let's have a quick look in the rules. Um, continental qualification. Champions Cup playoff. 
best place second qualifying uh, allocated by a league position to Aaron Divizzi. Anyway, so I, I think looking at things, fifth place is where we need to finish. Um, depending on winner of Dutch Cup. Okay, so fourth. We need we need to target fourth. I say that. So we're currently on 12 points. And we need to get to Zvola, who are on 20. Feyenoord have three games in hand. They're only one point behind Zvola. Okay. Anyway. We take on NEC. Uh, who aren't a small club in, in the Netherlands. But they're not a big club. I think they've got a bit of history. <coughs> so we're going to quick pick again. No, everything's good. There's a lot of players here that will not be here for too long. Leo Batistao, for example, on £81,000 a week. Sorry, mate, you're going to be... You're going to be on your way, mate. Um, Taking flexible. Yeah, screw it. Let's go. Let's go. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. First game of the season with Ajax. A big win. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. We'll have a look at the squad dynamics after this. Uh, see who's who. Uh, wanted to do that beforehand, but I forgot. So... I think, I fully expect, yeah, midfield. We're going to go over passionate. There's a lot more to come. Uh, defense, assertive, and we go with another assertive. So, we haven't got the team on side yet, uh, for obvious reasons, because <coughs> we're new. Uh, it's a special day. I can't wait to get started. Matt isn't about me. It's Matt Ajax and NEC. Long time project, nothing. I was just a special day. Ambitions, yeah, yeah, of course. I'm not going to down down talk the uh, the boss yet. So we're going to go push forward straight away. Um, we should have the upper hand despite our our problems. So Van Overeem, Gustafsson, Leo Baptistao, nearly, nearly. See, for eighty one thousand pound a week, I expect that to be in. Maybe I'm asking too much. I don't fucking think so. 81 grand a week in the Netherlands. It's unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. So, Lewis on the attack. Well done. Gustafsson picks up the loose ball. You, you know, run the ball down, mate. Journey. Journey. Finds Pieri. Gustafsson. Ball in. Did, oh, did you see that? Because what I saw was someone on £81,000 a week being dog shit. So he's going. Santi Cazorla's going because he's on seventy grand and shit. Oh, so many so many players I'm going to be... Oh, here we go. <coughs> so many players will be taking their leave of this club, I tell you now. Right, what can we do with you? What can we do with you? I don't really have much in the way of decent strikers either. Let's let's create something with our strikers here. What can you do? Okay, let's get you to play complete forward. And instead of poacher, we could go with false nine at either side. Let's change you up. You're going to be an advanced playmaker support. What can you do? Wing back. Wing back automatic and wing back automatic because why the hell not? And we'll leave you as a poacher actually. Right. Confirm the changes. Lovely stuff. Hopefully, we can do something with that. We've definitely had the upper hand, more possession, more shots. Journey! Not the, uh, the 81 grand a week, man, but still. So we've moved up to 13th with that, have we? Uh, yeah, I, I still want to use that tactic to change. Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. That is what I'm drinking tonight. Beautiful. Really is. One of my one of my favourite beers, I have to say. So, oh, hello. I'm going to miss something here. Baptiste, I missed it. That's fine. Um, he's, he's just hammering in the fact that he needs to be moved on. Big horse. It was not a bad effort, I guess. So yeah, if we can get rid of him, the value, what is his value? Just, just, 
interrupting the game briefly. 9.25. So we can get his value and bring in Tammy Abrahams, five years younger, for the same price. <coughs> probably on... I'll probably be able to get Tammy on a slightly lower contract. Maybe not, like, really low, but slightly lower than that. Maybe around about 65, 70, if I'm lucky. Yeah, he's going. Um, but we would have a younger player. Hopefully better as well. Obviously, we're still scouting him. We'll have a look at him. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it's time to really overhaul Ajax. I think it needs a big overhaul. Drop to 13th. A win here could propel us up to the heady heights of 8th, if we're lucky. Tactics. Don't need to change those. Who's not playing well? Vic Hunt. That's their team. Shit. I'm looking at the wrong side. Final order winning 2-0 against Utrecht. Your staffs and Cherny's offside. How was he not offside? <coughs> I was pretty sure he was offside. Apparently not. All right, so we're going to give him a bit of a, a dressing down at half time. Baptiste Tower is going to come off. So, performance disappointing. It wasn't disappointing, it was fucking dismal. I'm not happy. Stressed. Why are you stressed, Alex Galvez? 6.7. Let's have a talk. Let's have a little talk. An assertive. A lot more to come from you. Stressed. Fucking stress you out. Um, looking to make a difference. And midfield. I'm looking to make a difference. So. Hmm. 6.4. I, I, I do want to, and who do I have on the bench? Well, so we've got Che Nunnally on the bench, but he can't play up front. And I think, I don't think I've got anyone apart from Jensen. Let's, let's bring Jensen in for Baptiste Dow. Change you to a, no, let's go false nine one side. False nine the other side. And then... CF in the middle. See how that works out. But it means he's off. You're on. We're going to go to attacking. And we're going to go control. We're going to go control. Team talk. Speak to... Can I speak to him? I can't speak to him. Why can't I speak to him? That seems a bit silly. <coughs> Still. So Baptiste sales off. He's going to be leaving the fucking club as soon as possible. He's just dire... Um, we should be dominating this game, really, but it doesn't look like we are. Can we do something tactically? Retain possession. Avoid the left bank. Get early crosses. No, without working the ball into the box. That might be better. And then, looking for the underlap. So maybe the Mazalas can find their fullbacks coming around, what, the wingbacks coming around them. That's, 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 maybe. Probably not going to happen. Yao Pedro finds it over him with stuff and basically in no man's land. Over him. Yao Pedro. I mean, an attacking. There we go. Jensen finds Journey at the keeper. So yeah, I mean, some attacking play would have been nice there. Uh, obviously, it eventually happened. Um, update wise, Feyenoord are uh, probably going to run away at the league this season. But if we can just get into Europe, and we've achieved what we need to achieve. That's that's the promise I made to the board when I took on the job. I was desperate to have this fucking job, but I promised we would get Euro. Uh, we should do it. I can't see why we wouldn't. I'm also aware this is going to be a long episode. I'm also aware of that. Um, because I think the first part I recorded a couple of days ago... Oof, a couple of days ago was about 10 minutes long. We're currently at 13. So, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a, a longer episode than normal. Not compared to how it used to be. It used to be like 30 minute episodes sometimes. But anyway, let's get a sub in. So, who do we have on the bench? I'd like to get Che on. I'd like to get Che on. Oh, shit, isn't he? Why are you so shit? Okay, um... Olivier, Kemen, 
this team is wank. Thomas Bruns, okay. You look like you could be all right. Let's get you on for Yao Pedro. Can you play Amazar? You can. Good. And we've got one more we can use. Frankie de Jong. Can you also play Mazala? You can. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's get these guys on attack. Let's get you... Let's leave you on support. And we're going to switch these guys up. Go attack. Attack. No, I said attack. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, okay. Hopefully, 20 minutes time, we can get a goal and not concede one. Hopefully. <clears throat> we, we've definitely dominated the game with the amount of shots. Poor Journey. Um, 18 shots compared to their three, but it doesn't matter if you don't convert them. Only five of those have been on target, which is less, less than a third. I had to think about that. That's, that's annoying. I had to think about it. I should know that off the top of my head. I, was, I doubted myself. Is it a third? Less than a third? <laughs> All right, Guzman. Let's get that ball up there. Send it. Send it. There we go. Journey. You got players here. You got players here. Look, you got players here. Square someone. De Young. Oh, Frankie. Frankie, 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 Frankie. Could have done so much more. So much more. Right, can we get a final push forward? We're going to leave it on overload. Um, we've been overload for most of the game, I think. Jensen. Jensen. <coughs> I mean, to be fair to him, he didn't really have much option there. He didn't have anyone around him. But. It's not. It's not the best start. I mean, in the way one will draw, I suppose. But we are going to be having a word of the team. We're going to tell them they're disappointing. Not good enough. End the talk. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, a one all. Not so great. We've got Euro Cup against Seville next. Not in today's episode. Um, but it will be in the next episode. Well, do we do the Sevilla game? The top of their league. Top of their group. We need to have a look at that group. Um, it's probably going to be a half an hour episode. Sorry. So yeah, um, not great. Jensen close to triggering. Okay, that's fine. Jordi de Vies. You'll keep an eye on Jordi de Vies, are you? Okay. Race match conference. Uh, we'll send the assistant for that one. I said we'll send the assistant for that one. I can't even see my fucking mouse. It just suddenly disappeared. Because of the white. It's because of the white. Schedule. So, Euro Cup Group G. G? J. Where are we in bottom <laughs> with one point? Holy shit, we're going to get knocked out by Micheland and Vazland Beveren. No one's ever heard of Vazland Beveren. All right, so we've got a bit of finger pulling out to do there. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look at the dynamics. So managerial support is very poor, posit failing to positively influence number of players. So I'm going to be talking to a few of our players. Um, dressing room atmosphere is good. Match cohesion's good, but I do need to do a bit of work. Yeah. This guy hopefully is going to become something. Hopefully. He's not going to become anything brilliant, but don't really have much up front. Don't really have much going on there at all. Chain Nunnally. I was disappointed in that. Oh, mate, I'm going to have to transfer this to you. And that's a disappointment. I'm going to have to transfer this to you. It really is. But yeah, we've got we've got some work to do with this team. I think it's going to take quite a bit of an overhaul, especially up front. That's, that's the striker situation. And I want to get a strong centre back as well, maybe two. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Um, thank you very much for joining me again. I know it's a long one, and if you've hung about till now, I do appreciate it. Um, if you are new to the channel, then please do go ahead and subscribe, like if you, uh, if you enjoyed today's episode and yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye-bye.